Hi everyone, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make a vision board that actually really works. The first question you might be asking yourself is what is a vision board? I like to think of a vision board as a visual representation of your ideal dream life. Your vision board should make you feel motivated, inspired for the future, and give you visual inspiration to chase after all of your dreams. I personally like to tell myself that what you focus on grows, so if you focus on positive things in your life, what you're grateful for, you know, you will welcome more abundance into your life. You could think of it even as the golden rule, how you treat others will come back to you, so, you know, what you put out into the world is what you're going to get back. So you might be asking yourself, what do I put on a vision board? You can put photographs, quotes, affirmations, whatever you'd like that makes you feel good. The purpose of it is to make you feel inspired, not feel like, oh my goodness, I want all of these dream things, but I'll never attain it. It's supposed to make you feel like you are able and you are capable of achieving your goals. Another question that people tend to ask a lot when it comes to vision boards is how long is this gonna take? How long, if I slap a picture on my vision board, when will that thing come into my life? I like to tell myself that everything that happens in your life happens in your own perfect timing. You know, something that you want to manifest or pray for that you want in your life may come the next day. And some things, it might take five years. Everything happens in good timing. Trust the process, I guess you could say. I would say don't worry if something doesn't happen overnight. You know, some of the best things in life it takes time and it takes a lot of patience. So just be patient and trust the timing. Everything will work out in the end. Next thing I want to get into are what the actual steps are to make the vision board. So one of the things that I think is really important when it comes to making a vision board is to be in a positive state of mind when you're doing it. Just don't be, you know, Mr. Grumps. Like try to get in a positive headspace. I know it can be hard with everything going on right now. The world is very unstable and there's a lot of changes we're all going through right now, but um, I hope you're all doing well, besides the point. And I say just try to do what you can to make yourself feel better. One thing that I personally like to do whenever I'm feeling down or feeling just kind of cranky, I like to remind myself of what I'm grateful for. I know it sounds cheesy, but seriously, if you just take the time to write down five things that you're grateful for in this very moment, it'll make you feel so much better. The next thing you're going to want to do when it comes to making your vision board is to write out a list of what your ideal life would be like. And when you do so, write it in the present tense like you're actually living it. You write things in the present tense and it trains your brain to believe that you are capable of achieving those things. Or say, you're really wishing for your dream internship. You would write, I am so grateful that I landed my dream internship. I'm so thankful for my amazing boss. I'm so thankful for my supportive coworkers. Things along that line. When you write things in the I am sentence structure or in the present tense, it makes your brain um, believe and helps you train your brain to believe that you are capable of achieving those things. Because a lot of us have limiting beliefs, you know, thinking that we're, you know, not pretty enough, not smart enough, not worthy enough of good things that we want in our life. So we have to disband those limiting beliefs, get rid of them, and train our brains to think positively of ourselves and think positively of the people around us. That's one way to start brainstorming what you actually want in your life. You know, you can't really just like make a vision board but not have the vision. You need to have like a clear outline of what you want in your life. And I would say if you can, get like super specific on what you want because that'll help you, you know, actually be able to create actionable steps to get towards those goals. And it'll also just allow um, the universe or God, whatever you want to call it, to help you bring those goals into fruition faster. And then as far as ways to make your vision board, there's a couple of different ways. You can make it digitally on Canva. I made a video all about that and if you'd want to see it, I'll link it down below. But you can make it on Canva and set it as your desktop wallpaper. And then you can also make a digital vision board in whatever dimensions you want. And then you could also get it printed out as like a poster, or like Staples or CVS or something like that. And then the final way that we're going to do today is to make a table tangible physical vision board. Lately, with the whole quarantine and everything and school going online, I've been feeling really disheartened and discouraged. Recently, I've just been feeling kind of down, so I want to get over that and get back to my old self, and I think making a vision board always helps to do so. So we're gonna get to it, make it right now. So now I'm going to share with you guys me actually making my real life vision board. I'm going to be making a physical one. I'm gonna print out pictures. And then I got this cork board from Target. It's just a little 
cork board and then I have some push pins so I'm gonna print out a bunch of pictures that remind me of my ideal life the first thing I'm gonna do to make my vision board is I'm going to journal for a little bit so this is just my journal I got it from home goods or TJ Maxx so I'm just gonna write down some of my goals and aspirations and get in a positive and thankful headspace Hey guys, so a quick update. I just wrote down a bunch of things that I'm feeling grateful for at the moment and I also put on my pick yourself up playlist which is just a bunch of like upbeat positive music that makes me feel, you know, in a good headspace. So I wrote down what I'm thankful for. So basically what I like to do is just write down what I'm thankful for in the center and then I just fill the page with things, you know, that are blessings in my life. It sounds cheesy but it makes you feel better. And yeah, so now that I wrote down what I'm thankful for, I'm feeling really good and blessed. And now I feel like I'm in a good headspace to, you know, manifest the life that I want or like think about things that, you know, I could work towards to make my life even better. So now I'm gonna journal and write down, you know, what my ideal life would be like. So let's get to it. So I just finished picking out the photos for my vision board and now I just sent them to my printer to be printed out, but I'll show you guys. So basically what I did is I made a Pinterest board on Pinterest, just labeled vision board. And I added any photographs that remind me, you know, of my ideal life. Hey guys, so I just print out the pictures and they're so stinking cute. Okay, I'm gonna go through them real quick. We've got some fall, things, a pumpkin patch because I'm so excited for the fall and it's like one of the things that's keeping me motivated for the future. Um, some travel pictures, I really want to go to Italy and then I would also really love to go to Switzerland. Um, a little thing that says I am thankful for today because we all know the power of gratitude is wonderful. Um, this one says everything is figure outable because I am very like self-motivated and driven and this is true, everything is figure outable, especially when we have Google and the internet. And then a really cool office because I'm gonna work really hard and do my best to attain my dream job. And I have hope for the future that that will happen. Next page we have like a stylist and this mirror is, I think it's from Pottery Barn, it's like my dream mirror. And someday when I own a home, I really wanna get that. And then this is from Fashion Week. And then it's this is like a little photo shoot set and this says run of the show. So just some fashion things because I do wanna work in the fashion industry. We have some photos of New York Fashion Week. I was so incredibly lucky and blessed to be able to go to New York Fashion Week this past year. And I really would love to go again. So next page we have some more quotes. This says, you're busy doubting yourself while some people are intimidated by your potential because I think I have a tendency to discredit my achievements or things that I've done in the past when you know I have worked really hard and I have done a lot to get where I am so don't doubt yourself believe in yourself I sound like a cheesy spokesperson but it's true this last page is kind of random but we have some really good looking tacos because I love um, going out to eat it's one of my favorite pastimes and I want to continue to do that um, another picture of Switzerland because I would really love to go there um, a really cool office because I am, you know, manifesting my dream job. It's gonna happen. Um, a really cool apartment and then another really pretty like beach home. So those were all the things that I printed out and I'm gonna put on my vision board. Comment down below what you are hoping for in this upcoming year or so or what you're putting on your board. So now I'm gonna start making it. So I have all my photographs and now I'm going to start Oh, I just dropped my scissors. I'm gonna start getting to cutting. I'm also going to put on some tunes. If you guys have any good music suggestions, let me know. I have a little playlist called Pick Yourself Up and it's great for, you know, when you need like a little pep talk. But if you have any other suggestions of music to listen to, let me know in the comments down below. She's purring so loud. You love Connor, don't you? Oh my gosh, you're so cuddly. Hey guys, so I'm now joined here with Connor and Mimi, the lovebirds. So this, is the cork board that I'm gonna be using. I got it at the top. <laughs> Look how she's looking. This is the cork board that I'll be using. I got it at Target in the dollar section. And I also found these push pins in my just like family office. I'm gonna pin all the pictures here. How does it sound, Mimi? Like a good idea? Good idea, good idea. So now I have my handy dandy cameraman Connor behind the camera. That was great. So now what I'm doing is taking all the pictures that I printed out and I'm pinning them to my board, so yeah. I feel like I may have printed out too many pictures, so we're gonna see how we can fit them all on here. If you did print out too many pictures or they're too big, you can always like overlap them. It's always a good alternative. 
So this is what the finished vision board ended up looking like. I think it looks so nice. I love all the inspiring quotes and all the photos just leave me feeling inspired and motivated for the future, which is what you want. So that's what my vision board ended up looking like. If you guys ended up making one too, definitely make sure to share with me. You can send it to me on Instagram. My Instagram is Liv A. Osborne. I would love, absolutely love to see all of your creations. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. We would love to have you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.